that's an interesting topic, the potential of the Black Sea. And, it, I, you know, there's been so many conferences and it's always the, you know, I, I started 10 years ago and, it, oh, what's the potential of the Black Sea? And now uh, I'm uh, 10 years wiser, I can give some insights. Uh, and I think the point is you need to break down uh, the components of that potential. So let's, let's be very clear. The potential for discovering gas in the Romanian Black Sea is huge. It's huge. I mean, it's already been proven. So we're not just talking, well, maybe this, maybe that. I mean, there must be about 150 BCM uh, behind pipe. You know, it depends on how your perspective on the size. But the discoveries that are already out there, uh, you know, potential 150 BCM. And, uh, you know, we've, we've seen the, the geology, we've, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very exciting. I think the potential to have further increases in uh, discoveries is, is much, much substantially better than anything else in, in the Black Sea. So the ability to find discoveries uh, has already been proven and the potential is still great. But it has no point, you know, if, 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 you're, if your point of the matter is just to find discoveries and let them sit there for 30 years, it has no point. So then the question is, okay, the potential for discoveries is, is big. What's the potential for development? And, and this is where, you know, back to what I said before, uh, this, this is what's caused all, all the grief. And in, in fact, I mean, the reality is uh, because uh, of the problematic uh, ability to get through development, it actually has even curtailed people's enthusiasm to come into the Romanian Black Sea, which is, I think, the best in all of the Black Sea, and go to Bulgaria, maybe run off to Georgia and do raw, raw exploration. And so it's, it's, the, it's the development side that's uh, as a problem. And it's not a technology side. I mean, even in the deep water, it's, this, is, this isn't something that's, uh, that's hugely difficult. Uh, and it's certainly not connectivity to the market. There's excellent connectivity. Uh, all, the, all the metrics look good. Uh, EU country, NATO country, uh, European markets, gas-hungry markets. So, you know, what, what, is, what is the problem here? And I, and I, I think uh, one of the issues is there, there really needs to be a, a, a champion, uh, you know, in, in dispersed amongst government uh, agencies, a, a champion that really wants to get behind this. And, uh, you know, for instance, in Anna Ramey, you know, got the agency that's uh, responsible for bringing out licenses. We haven't had one in 11 years. Most countries do it, you know, once a year, twice a year. I'm, I'm from Canada. We do it twice a month. You know, it's, it's a template and, uh, and it's automated. And, and so, you know, it's not a big deal to push that along, but it doesn't happen on its own. So you really need a champion, someone to get behind it. And, and the same, and same exists in Honoré, for instance, you know, the gas, gas regulator. They have their own vision on what they're supposed to be doing. But it would be helpful to have a champion in Honoré that says, look, how can I get domestic, Romanian domestic gas production, how can I make it uh, work? How can I work with uh, the companies uh, 